Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. It is all coming out now, a supposedly legitimate political race for the nation's highest office, undermined by collusion between a candidate and a powerful outside actor. American voters repeatedly lied to. Now our democracy is quaking beneath the blow of it all. We're referring, of course, to the 2016 Democratic presidential primary. That party reeling from a recent piece in Politico by former acting DNC chair Donna Brazil. In the article, which is taken from her upcoming book, Brazil says the DNC essentially handed itself over to Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign, giving the Clinton campaign control over fundraising, strategy, and financial decisions. They even had veto power over hiring at the DNC. The revelation is shocking, even among people who suspected it was true, and it's now splitting the Democratic Party. Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts now says the 2016 race was, quote, rigged in the primaries. Current DNC Deputy Chair Keith Ellison of Minnesota, who supported Bernie Sanders, said the party is betraying millions of voters. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, however, says, stop talking about it. Time to move on and focus on the next election and not feud over the last one. What about voters, though? Do they have a say in all of this? Should they have had a say? Christy Setzer is a Democratic strategist, president of New Heights Communication, and joins us tonight. Christy, thanks a lot for coming on. I'm really glad to be here. Thanks, Tucker. How is this not the definition of corruption? Um, well, I know that Donna Brazil would like to sell some books. Uh, however, she fails to account for two things. The main argument that she makes in this supposedly explosive piece is one that when she got to the DNC, um, two things were happening. One, it had been mismanaged. And two, uh, she felt that people there had their finger on the scale for Hillary. Well, guess what? We already knew that. And that is why several people resigned at the convention and she took over. So it's really old news here, and I'm a little confused as to why we're focused on it. Well, I don't know why we're, we're attacking Donna Brazil personally, whom I'll remind you is a woman of color. But <laughs> I don't think that your response, yes. account, just using the rules that you guys set up, uh, that your mm -hmm. response accounts for the, the claims that she makes. She says there was an agreement explicitly signed, a legal agreement yes. between the Clinton campaign in August of... 2015, a year mm -hmm. before uh, the primaries ended, and the DNC giving the Clinton campaign financial and hiring control over decisions at the DNC. That seems like corruption. I don't know how else you would describe that. No, it's not. Um, so here's what actually happens, and I'm sure this happens on the Republican side as well, which is that when someone has secured their party's nomination, essentially they start acting as one with the party committee. Right. That's so right. it seems as though the Clinton campaign decided to make this agreement early, which said, hey, guys, when I actually secure the nomination, you know that we're going to have some say over the communications director, over some of the strategy, things like that. That, to right. me, does not seem out of the ordinary. Yeah, that's not actually what it said. And you're, but you're, I mean, look, the larger, if you're making the point that both parties try to rig the system in favor of the candidate they want, it's, you're absolutely right. And the Republicans tried to do that, <laughs> that and is, they that failed. The and that's how they, that's how they got Trump. No, it's true. Uh, both yeah. parties try to rig it. But my question is, don't voters have a say in this? It, it, the party doesn't belong to the people who are paid by it. It belongs to the voters who vote for it. And that's, to make an yeah. agreement like this before they get to vote seems to me an act of undermining democracy. Uh, it's not at all. I mean, the states are the ones who control the primaries. The, the DNC and party committee staffers really have, frankly, very little role in that. Um, so, so no. Um, and, and the other thing is that I think there's a suggestion here that, um, that it was so unfair as to that something might have changed the outcome. Hillary Clinton won the primary by four million votes. So it's really hard to see how this could have gone down any other way. And again, to look back on, would this change things so that, um, you know, she wouldn't rightfully become president? Well, she's she's not in office right now. So it's it's hard to know right. why this I matters mean, but, so much. I mean, it's, I mean, these are all hypothetical questions. But what we do yeah. know is that the system was not on the level. It was rigged. And don't take, I'm not a Democrat, but a lot of people yeah. who have devoted their lives to the party are saying that. Here's what Tulsi Gabbard, who at one point mm -hmm. was a vice chair of the DNC, you, know, you can't say she's not a Democrat, quote, the, the campaign finance laws, and I'm quoting, essentially allowed the Clinton campaign to bypass individual contribution limits by funneling millions of dollars to yep. the DNC, taking control of the DNC in 
the process. She's not selling a book. That's that's a real accusation from a yeah. lifelong Democrat. It's it's not an accusation. What it is is um, again to go back and think about what had happened here. Um, Hillary Clinton. Uh, you know, took the DNC when they were in a ton of debt, um, when they were basically bankrupt, and got them out of bankruptcy, raised a lot of money for the DNC, raised a lot of money for state parties, and then, you know, basically said, hey, and we're also going to want some say in how that money is used. And that's not so unfair. As I understand it, the same agreement was basically offered to Bernie Sanders' campaign as well. He chose not to raise money for the party. And look, that sets up oh. a larger contrast between the fact that Hillary Clinton has been a Democrat all, you know, largely all her life. She talks about how she was oh. a Goldwater girl. And uh, and then, you know, and has oh. been. And Bernie's not really a Democrat. I mean, I love that Bernie's not really a Democrat. A Democrat. Argument. Look, he, he voted with the Democrats his entire career in the Senate, as you well know. Yep. But how about someone who has been a Democrat consistently, Elizabeth Warren, saying yeah. the system is rigged? Is she not a real Democrat, too? I mean, look, she the is point is, this is, yes. not, this is not just Donald Trump or, you know, right-wingers yeah. like me trying to cause trouble in your party. These are actual Democrats. What do you think Joe yeah. Biden thinks of this, for example, who got shafted because the DNC right. put his thumb on the scale when it shouldn't have? And let's just admit that it's corruption. Yeah, I mean, again, I think that people like, uh, you know, Martin O'Malley and um, and Bernie Sanders have a legitimate complaint to say that on a personal level, the staffers at the DNC probably preferred Hillary Clinton. I think that that is true. I think that the, <laughs> I think that the debate saying. schedule was it's unfair, not, okay. et cetera. But, but I don't think no. that you can say that from a broad... I, don't, I, I just really don't really? think that this so is when, being made into... Yeah. When Democratic National Committee staffers who are bound, I would say honor bound, to remain neutral in the nominating contest yeah. are figuring out ways to impugn Senator Sanders because of his religion, and they were mm -hmm. caught doing that. Yeah. You, you think that's not corrupt? I don't think it's corrupt. I think it's human that they had preferences. And I think that, you know, look, on the R and on the GOP side, I'm sure that was the case as well. I mean, but you may remember it was the case. The no, but it was the even, case. You know, the, wasn't terribly excited well, look, about I mean, the I'm idea not, of Donald I'm Trump. I'm not contesting that. The Republican Party <laughs> didn't want Donald Trump. He bulldozed right. them and won. They tried to rig it, too. I mean, that's true. I'm just saying it's not supposed to work this way. The Democratic Party just got caught rigging an election and like they should just admit it and apologize and maybe bring a little democracy into the process. That's all I'm saying. I, well, I, I would disagree with that assessment. Um, I, again, I don't okay. think that it was rigged. I think that Hillary probably did have outsized control for a lot right. of reasons. But, yeah. uh, but again, it didn't change anything ultimately. Yeah, unknowable. Christy, thank you for that. Thank you, Tucker.